Hey guys, welcome back to the Trans Series playlist. Uh, today we will be setting up our telemetry screens, and I will give you a bunch of other uh, really good tips. If you have not been following along with the Trans Series playlist, I will leave a link for you in the top right of the screen now. Uh, so far, we have created a new model, uh, created switches, uh, upgraded the firmware in the Tyrannus, changed the firmware in the receivers, calibrated channel endpoints, and many other videos. So check that out. Before we begin, I have to say that uh, to be able to do this, you have to have already gone ahead and wired your receiver to the flight controller to be able to accept telemetry and configured everything in beta flight or clean flight to be able to get telemetry. If you don't know how to do that, uh, I'm not covering that in this video, uh, but just look through my playlist. I have multiple playlists with many different receivers and flight controllers where I show you how to wire everything up and set it up in beta flight to not only uh, get your channels working, but also receive telemetry. Uh, so assuming you have already done that, we can move on. First, you want to press the menu button to go to your uh, models page, choose a model you want. We need to get to page 12 of 12. Uh, you can keep hitting page and going all the way over, but the faster way of doing it is to hold down the page button, and that will actually make you go backwards pages. Now we are on 12 of 12, which is telemetry. First up, uh, you may want to set your low and critical alarms for RSSI. RSSI is basically the higher the number, the more signal you have between the Tyrannus and your receiver. The lower the, nu the number, uh, the further your multi-rotor is away from you, and eventually you will lose signal. So these are two audible alarms where the Tyrannus will tell you through the speaker that you are about to lose signal. Now I'm going to leave my low alarm where it's at. The critical alarm, I will drop it some. Uh, but just play around with this. Uh, obviously you don't want to drop your alarms too far because uh, if you go too far it could be warning you that you are about to lose signal as you are losing signal and that wouldn't be good at all. Now uh, for sensors, I already have my flight controller um, powered up and the receiver so uh, and also I have everything wired up correctly and configured in beta flight so now if I click discover new sensors here is all of my telemetry sensors. After that, you can click Stop Discovery. Now, uh, first I have to say, the number of sensors you see is going to completely depend on your flight controller. Uh, every flight controller is different. Uh, for example, uh, some flight controllers don't have a barometer. In that case, you would not see a sensor for ALT or altitude. Um, some flight controllers don't have pins for a current reading. Now. This one is showing, you know, 8.5 amps, which is completely wrong. I'm not even powering it with a LiPo right now. It's just powered with the USB. Uh, but I actually have a video showing you how to install a current sensor and uh, calibrate it. So to answer your question, no, you cannot calibrate your current sensor through the trans itself. That's something you have to do with a current sensor and beta flight. Uh, so check out that video, and I, I explain everything you need to know. Now the other thing I need to say is if you hit discover new sensors and you only see four sensors, then that means your telemetry is not working. Uh, usually those four sensors is going to be something like, uh, like A1 or A2 or A4. Uh, you'll also have VFAS, SWR, and RSSI. The reason you are only seeing those sensors and nothing else is because those four sensors are actually coming from the receiver itself, not the flight controller and all these other sensors come from the flight controller, so they come from two different places. Your RSSI, SWR, A1, A2, A3, A4, all that, that is coming from the receiver because uh, you know, all these have to deal with um, either how much signal you have between this and the receiver, or uh, your A1 and A2 is uh, it's a long explanation. Just know that your telemetry is not working. So it's either a wiring problem or a configuration problem. So you will have to go back and figure out why it's not working. Next, we want to adjust these sensors. And I don't mean adjust the values, but uh, let's just say, okay, let's say VFAS. Um, see how there is two decimal places? For one, 
voltage readings are pretty accurate, especially after you calibrate it, but it's not one hundredths of a volt accurate. The other reason for that is, now I'm gonna skip down here real quick to our telemetry screens. I will come back, but let's just say we set this to voltage. Here's our minimum, here's our maximum. I use 4S LiPo batteries, which fully charge is 16.8 volts, so I set my max to 17 volts. If we hold the up key, it is going to take forever to get to 17 volts. And uh, like I said, one hundredth of a volt, it's not going to be that accurate anyway. So what I will do instead is come back to voltage up here, hold down the enter key, then press enter again to edit, and I will change the precision from two decimal places to one decimal place. Then press exit to go to the top of the page, exit again to go back. Now if we go back down here, it's going to move a lot faster. Okay, there we go. Uh, like I said, I will come back to uh, those. Moving on, uh, let's just say, Let's just say altitude. Maybe we don't want meters. So I will edit that. You can actually change it from meters to feet if you would prefer feet. Also, the precision, um, it's not that accurate. So I will, instead of having one decimal place, I'm going to have no decimal places. I just want a whole number. So I will change that, then exit out of that and continue. And uh, that's going to be good for now. Uh, moving on, variometer, I don't ever mess with that. Top bar, uh, you have a voltage source or, or voltage, of, and this is going to be of your multi-rotor uh, and or altitude. So if we go back to the main screen, you see this voltage value is actually the voltage of your trans battery, but you can also place the voltage of your multi-rotor and the altitude along on this top bar. So the source, instead of using A4, which is a voltage source, but that's not what we want, I will change this to VFAS. Now altitude, if your flight controller does not have a barometer, it is not going to allow you to change uh, this value or source, uh, but because my flight controller does, I can, and the only option I have is ALT, which is altitude, which is what we want. Now if we go back to the main screen, I see the voltage of my multi-rotor and my altitude. Now it's time to talk about uh, our telemetry screens. So going back to the main page once again, on the main page you can hold down the page button and this is going to be your telemetry screens. You can create up to four of them and have three different layouts. And this is actually the screen that I'm on as I'm flying. Um, I do wear goggles, but every now and then I, I do take a look at this. Uh, so let's, let me show you how to set it up. So on screen one, you can choose a, a bar layout, which is what we were just looking at, or a numerical layout or script. I never use script, so I couldn't tell you much about it. So this first one, I'll just use bars. And you uh, on the bars layout, you can have four sensors. Uh, the four sensors that I use is going to be voltage, so I'll pick VFAS. Uh, you can have a minimum and a maximum. You can bring your minimum up if you choose. Personally, I'm not. And I will set this to 17 volts because, like I said, <clears throat> I run uh, 4S LiPos. Now this one. Uh, is going to be voltage as well, but it's going to be a little bit different. So when you get to voltage, you'll also notice that there is a voltage minus and a voltage plus. The voltage minus is going to show you the lowest value you ever hit during your entire flight. And the plus is going to be the opposite. It's going to show you the max value for whatever sensor that is during your entire flight. So for voltage, sometimes I want to know what my minimum value was. So I can hit voltage or VFAS minus and I will just set this from 0 to 17 once again. I will also do uh, let's see 
I'm also going to do RSSI. Uh, you can actually go past 100 decibels, so I will set the max to 110. And then let's do uh, our altitude. Actually, I'll do SWR. Okay, now that screen is set up with our four sensors. Now I will make a, uh, I'll show you what the number layout looks like. With the number layout, you actually get 12 sensors that you can set up. Uh, so for this one, I will do, okay, now I've got the number layout completely set up the way I want it. Uh, and that is the end of the telemetry page. So let me go back to the main menu and explain how I set mine up. So here we have the bar layout. Uh, if I had a battery connected, then I would be seeing my voltage of the multirotor, and it would also show me the minimum value. And this is the real-time RSSI. And if we page over, then here is the number layout. Uh, I've got my minimum voltage that I've seen throughout the entire flight, the real-time voltage, the maximum voltage seen, my SWR, the uh, altitude and max altitude seen throughout the entire flight. The reason I don't have a minimum altitude is because the minimum is going to be zero, so there's no point in even having it. Uh, then for my RSSI, I have uh, the minimum RSSI seen throughout the entire flight, real time, and then maximum RSSI. That way at the end of the flight I can see what uh, how close I was to losing signal. And then at the very bottom I have a timer so I can time my flight, uh, which you can put the timer here but it's not set up yet. You still have to set it up on a different page. Uh, I'll show you how to do that later or in another video. Then my current, 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 uh, real time current, and the maximum current seen throughout the entire flight. Uh, but like I said, you have to add in a current sensor and calibrate it. That's a separate video. And that is basically it, guys. So I hope I helped you out. Um, that's going to do it. Watch the trans playlist. Plenty more coming up. And I will see you guys again soon.